Okay, we are asked to divide a third degree polynomial by a first degree polynomial. So I've gone ahead and set up our division. Uh, nice long division on this one. Um, we didn't skip over any powers of x. So initially you always wanna get very organized. So we had degree three term, degree two, degree one, degree zero. Same thing here, we had degree one, degree zero. You want this in descending order. And if you skipped over any powers of x, like if we had zero x, squareds, you want to put zero x squareds here. Don't just leave that blank. It'll make less errors along the way. All right, from here, let's start out and focus on these first terms. So you focus on the three x and you focus on the six x cubed. And you think to yourself, three x multiplied by what is going to make exactly six x cubed. So three times two will make the six and x times x squared is going to make the x cubed. So that goes up here at the top in our quotient. Then what we have to be careful of is you want to distribute whatever goes in the quotient needs to be multiplied by each one of these terms in the divisor. So 2x squared times 3x makes sure enough 6x cubed. And I've simply underlined this. This is not a division. It was just to where we wanted to focus on. But then we want 2x squared times negative 2. So that's going to be minus 4 x squared. Our next step is we want to subtract down. So big set of parentheses around both these terms. We always plan this out so it works perfectly for the first one. 6x cubed minus 6x cubed makes 0x cubed. But for the second terms here, we want to be a little bit careful. A lot of times I like going off to the side and just doing this as a horizontal subtraction. So we have 11x squared minus negative 4x squared. So you want to be careful, this double negative is going to be an addition. So we have 11x squared plus 4x squared is going to be 15x squared. All right, with that process complete, we're going to bring down the next term. So minus 31x and then start the process again. So we want to focus on the first terms. 3x multiplied by what makes 15x squared? Well, 3 times 5 makes 15, x times x is going to make the x squared. Then whatever one up here in our quotient, you want to distribute. So 5x times 3x, sure enough, is 5x squared, just like we focused on. 5x times negative 2 makes minus 10x. Again, subtract down. First ones cancel out because we planned that. 15x squared minus 15x squared, they're gone. Next one, though, off to the side, I'm probably going to go ahead and write negative 31x minus a negative 10x. So notice here we have negative 31x plus 10x is going to make negative 21x's. We'll go ahead and bring the next term down. So plus 15 comes down. And then start again. 3x times what? makes negative 21x. So three times negative seven is gonna make negative 21. We already have an x here. We wanna end up with an x, so I don't need any more x's. Negative seven times three x is sure enough, negative 21x. Negative seven times negative two makes positive 14. But then remember, we subtract down. These cancel out, just like we planned it, negative 21x plus 21x, but then maybe off to the side, just to be careful, we'll say 15 minus 14 should leave us with one. All right, now that we've completely uh, done our long division, we can't go any further. Let's write our solution as the quotient, 2x squared plus 5x minus seven plus the divisor, Oh, sorry, the remainder over the divisor. So just copy down our quotient from up top plus the remainder, the one from here at the bottom, over the divisor, the 3x minus 2. All right, hope this helps out in learning about long division of polynomials. Um, take your time. If you write this off to the side, it's not a bad idea. Less mistakes happen if you actually take your time and write it off to the side.